what's going on y'all so today I'm going to be making this video more towards people that are used to using vortex mod manager and showing you the basic subtle differences between uh, vortex mod manager and mod organizer 2 and the reason for that is uh, some people may be interested in switching over some people might be curious about it um, and for me uh, I was always a Nexus slash Vortex Mod Manager user for years. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't even look at Mod Organizer. Uh, but recently I wanted to use uh, Novus's uh, mod list and it required uh, Mod Organizer too. So I was like, uh, kind of discouraged me from wanting to do it, but I wanted to try it. So I gave it a shot. And Mod Organizer 2 is not that much different than Vortex in the way that you install mods. Um, so as you can see, I don't have anything installed because I'm I'm using Mod Organizer 2. But for all you guys that use Vortex, this is very familiar and how it looks. But uh, this is how Mod Organizer 2 looks, and this is its interface. So I'll go over the basic differences and how this works, how both of these things work, and the advantages I f I find for one and the disadvantages for others. Um, for the the programs here, so I'll go over this briefly because we all know how Vortex Manager and Mod Manager works. Because you know, if you're using it, you're here. That's why you're here. I don't know if that made sense or not, but yeah. So you go on the Nexus page, you hit download. It automatically downloads to your Vortex Mod Manager, and this is what you see: uninstalled, or enabled, or disabled. So um, it's basic, easy. Uh, what I when I now that I've used both, what I see for Nexus or Vortex Mod Manager and for Mod Organizer 2, Vortex Mod Manager I find now after using Mod Organizer 2 is is more of a streamline. Like it's 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 good for if you want to install and just play. If you're not trying to be super technical, if you're not trying to 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 dig into the files and trying to modify too much stuff, Nexus is good for that download and play. Now, the downside now that I've used Mod Organizer 2, the downside for Vortex Mod Manager for me is the fact that when it installs mods, when Vortex Mod Manager installs mods, it installs it to your actual core Skyrim folder. So it's 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 going directly to your game. Versus what Mod, mod Organizer 2 does is it sets up a mod file outside of the Skyrim's main game and installs the mods there and it's almost like it's injecting the mods to the game versus actually changing the core files of the game so if you mess up on your mod organizer or if you mess up on your vortex mod manager and you're downloading mods and I've experienced this a whole ton of times um, you may install a mod that will delete a file or duplicate a file or replace a file and then you're kinda screwed because that's a permanent change to your actual Skyrim folder and you can't always correct that so what happens is if your game's not working or if it keeps crashing you have to uninstall Skyrim reinstall it then reinstall your mods with Vortex Mod Manager versus Mod Organizer 2 where if you screw up all you basically have to do is uninstall all your mods start a fresh new game and you're good to go because the game's core files the ones you downloaded from Steam by itself haven't been affected so basically you still have a fresh game to start modding again and that's a big thing that 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 I like although Skyrim's not that big of a game where if you have to re-download it it's not gonna take forever for today's basic internet speeds but another thing here is um, you have a bit more control over how your load order load order works and how you deal with your plugins and stuff um, look, as you can see, this is just your main page here or interface where you see your mods where, you know, if you want to enable it, disable it, or uninstall. You have the same basic feature here, except it just looks different. So if I wanted to have any three of these options, I would go here and let's say I wanted to uninstall or disable uh, Coco's Goddess of War. Um, what I would do is I would just click that check to uncheck it and it would disable it. Now if I wanted to remove and delete the file, I would just go to remove mod. Now 
as you can see, when I click Goddess of War, it's going to highlight other mods. So it's good with this, but it, it's it's telling me that Goddess of War is okay with these two mods because they share similar files, but they're working correctly. And it's telling me that it's conflicting with these other three mods here. So what you'd want to do is clean that conflict up. And that's not hard to do. Um, I just, I'm, I'm lazy. It, it's not affecting my game. So all these still work. So it's just letting you know that there are some conflicts here. So if I started the game and the game was crashing or outfits weren't working or armors weren't working right, I can troubleshoot. So, so if I was wearing this, but certain armor pieces weren't showing up, I'd be like, oh, why is that happening? Or why is this, why is this screwing up? But then I could see that there's some conflicts between this mod and these three which is cool. Nexus doesn't really do that for you. Um, it gives you a little th tab up here telling you, you know, you've got some conflicts to check them out, but it doesn't really tell you the individuals of what's causing what the conflict where, which is, which is nice. So you can see if I click on another outfit, it works fine with all these. There's no conflicts because the, the files are sh working properly with each other. So that's cool. Um, another thing is if you're using a lot of mods, um, it's easier to manage with Mod Organizer 2 uh, because you have your plugin counter here, which is pretty cool. I don't know if Vortex Mod Manager has a plugin counter. I've never noticed one if it does. Um, where are we at here? See, I'm, I'm not even used to this interface anymore. Uh, plugins. So I'm not even sure if it has a plugin counter. It might. I've never really paid attention to that until I started using this because, as you can see, I've got. 2,389 active plugins going right now. So that's like almost 2,400 mods installed. Um, and what I didn't know is there's actually a limit to certain types of files you can use. And this lets you see that. So if you can see where it says ESM plus ESP files, um, 260 total of 253 that I have active, there's an uh, actual cap of how many ESM and ESP files you can have running at the same time. And that number is 255. If you go above 255 active ESM plus ESP files, it can be a combination of whatever, but it's, it adds up to that total. You're going to start running into big issues with your game. Your game's not going to be able to handle that much. Uh, it's too much for the Skyrim engine to handle, and you'll get all kinds of weird, funky stuff happening for me. Uh, and this might actually help some of you guys if you have too many mods installed and you're having some this weird issue I was having. So once I went above 255 total ESM and ESP files, what was happening is uh, when I would load, my character would throw up, literally, like it would just projectile vomit ice for some reason. And then the character would die, and then my game would crash. So if any of you guys are having an issue, that's probably what's going on is you've gone above your ESP slash ESM file limit. So that might help you, and that's how I found out about this too. Um, also, it lets you see what are ESM and ESP files. So you can see these dots here. Um, they give you flags, so you can click on it, not endorsed yet by Nexus, same thing over there, but you just get a little bit more details. Um, like I said here, you can see that it gives you a bunch of details for the site on um, where it came from. If you've got it from the Nexus, you can um, you can right click and visit Nexus, the page it was downloaded from, just like here. Um, so there's a lot of similarities uh, to the programs. Um, and adding mods, so let's say you download a mod outside of the Nexus. Um, there's plenty of other alternative mod sites. And it doesn't download automatically. Well, it works the same way as it would with Vortex Mod Manager. We, we just click on uh, install file or from file. And wherever you have your archive file, you would just click it. And it would add it to it like you just downloaded it from the Nexus. And you can do the same thing with it here. You just come to this little hit, uh, icon here, click on it, and as you can see, I've got all my um, things here. Uh, mods that weren't from the Nexus where I could just click on them and it would install them like as if you just downloaded it from the Nexus. So they're really similar. 
the only big changes that this thing really has is just the look of its interface and the way that it installs mods and just mod organizer 2 gives you a bit more control over your um, uh, your load order and whatnot so like I said if we were to use vortex mod manager and we wanted to add files manually um, if you're a, a mod organizer 2 user uh, you're gonna notice steam steam apps common and then Skyrim which is where the base game is installed you'll see that it's not touched I have 24 almost 2400 mods installed but it hasn't even touched the base game and you can see the mod file is empty now mine's gonna look a little different just because I'm using a Novus installer as well but basically it would be outside of the Skyrim folder so now you can see that my game's not touched. So if I was to mess up with my mod organizer too, and I was I was crashing every five minutes, I couldn't troubleshoot or find out what was going on. I would just have to install all uninstall all my mods, and just start a fresh new game, and then start installing mods again. Versus having to delete the entire game because I've changed so many core files permanently. Now, because I'm using uh, Novus's installer alongside of um, Mod Organizer 2, my install path is going to be a little different, but it would be no different than if you were just using Vortex Mod or Mod Organizer 2 on its own without the Novus installer. Um, you would just figure out, find out what its path was, and just follow that path. So we would click for me instance. Kind of ignore this, but don't ignore it. But I'll click on Novus. And then I would click on uh, instances for me, and then Novus Ascension. This is still kind of don't pay attention to this. So this is where you pay attention. So th this is the stock game. So what it did was it copied Skyrim itself, and then it's it's modifying the copied files of Skyrim for Mod Organizer 2. So if I click on stock game, you can see there's another instance or install of Skyrim now. So like I said, the advantages for Mod Organizer 2 is that it's not going to affect your core Skyrim game, so you can always just uninstall your mods and try again, versus having to uninstall Skyrim permanently and then reinstalling it. The downside is you now have a whole nother copy of Skyrim. So if you're limited on hard drive space, this might be uh, something that might turn you off of using Mod Organizer 2, because you, you basically have another copy of Skyrim installed. So just keep that in mind. And then you go over here, you can see the mod folder is kind of empty because I'm using the Novus installer, so my mods are all here. So you can see all the mods. Uh, everything that's overwritten, overwritten is here. So I can go through what I overwrit just to take a peek at that. Uh, and this is just Novus's profile system, so don't don't worry about that. But basically just think of the path that I showed as this, as if I'm following mod organizers own path and you'll see that when you install more mod, mod organizer 2 it's going to ask you where you want your install path to be so just keep that in mind and follow that path just use my video here as a reference and just know that it installs the games outside so from there just like uh, I've said in my other guides for vortex mod manager uh, once you install SKSE you're going to launch SKSE from um, mod organizer 2 and where that would be would be uh, you would have it installed and you'd have it its path sent here um, as you can see I've got a bunch of different stuff nemesis test edit body slide loot and some quick icons here but basically you would have your SKSC here and you would highlight it wherever it is here whether it's nemesis or just imagine it's here and imagine that novus is SKSC <coughs> and then you'd hit run and it would launch it like you would if you just click the icon um, and again uh, if you are switching over to more organizer I'll tell you this like I say in, in in vortex mod manager videos I've done always start your game from SKSE if you start your game from the regular launcher uh, if you don't have the current version of Skyrim it's gonna update your game and it's gonna destroy your mods so I always say that um, but other than that guys that's that's 
for anyone who's who's just looking for basic modding and you want to switch over, maybe because you want to try um, Novus's playlist um, and you have to use Mod Organizer, um, maybe this will help you switch over because it's not that much different compared to Nexus Mod Manager, other than the way that it installs uh, files and then just a different different kind of look. But uh, yeah, this isn't scripted or anything. This is just you know a basic little video for if you want to switch over or not or just to get an idea of what it looks like I'm still no expert in mod organizer 2 I guarantee there's I, I've probably just mentioned like 10% of what you can actually do with it um, I basically used it just so I could use Novus and I just haven't bothered to switch back to Nexus just because I don't really see a need to now that I'm used to this system here so uh, for anyone that's curious, hopefully this helped out a bit and helped you decide whether you want to switch over to Mod Organizer 2 or not, or if you want to stay with Nexus. Um, but yeah, hopefully this helps. Uh, if there's any experts out there that, that uh, see this and, you know, maybe I've said something wrong or messed up on something, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, that's a quick little video, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.